Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I just want to go over with you uh, the Linux distribution watch here on Monday, May 15th. Now, things have radically changed over the last few years. Uh, Ubuntu um, was always the number one Linux distribution uh, for a number of years until I guess they started adding some features that people didn't like. And along comes Mint, Mint Debian, and Manjaro. I don't know Manjaro at all. But um, I have kind of played with Mint. Eh. Uh, Debian I don't mind, but Ubuntu I know the best over the last number of years because it's been that popular. But with Debian, uh, is another good alternative uh, as, an, as an alternative. The, I'm, not, I'm by no means an expert in in Linux, but the one thing I want you to be aware of is the apt-get um, package manager, which has always been quite good. Uh, my question is if um, the Debian has that still, and if they do, which it looks like they do, uh, maybe Debian's might, might be the better one to go with for now. Um, here we go. So you can install uh, Debian packages, which is the same as the Ubuntu. And the reason I bring this up is for a very simple reason is when you go to Python, uh, the Python, let's just go to the main part. Here in Python, things have radically changed again over the last few years. Uh, I've been working with Python a year and a bit. I'm kind of comfortable with it. I'm not an expert in it. Uh, but for newbies out there, it's really important to understand the difference between 3.6 here, um, these debates here, because they have Python 3.6 and then Python 2.7. Now, there's kind of like two worlds um, brewing here, but I've always been running under Python 2.7 for the longest time. But what I have noticed now is that Python 3.6, and especially more of the more recent packages, all the major ones like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib uh, are, as far as I know, compatible with Python 3.6. <coughs> so I think it's time for me to make this, sh this shift over into Python 3.6. And I can also run more of the more recent uh, updated packages uh, that I want to experiment with for my upcoming uh, scripts. So uh, I just wanted to make you aware of that. And of course you want to ensure that you're able to run that on whatever Linux you're running. In my case, it probably will go with Debian for the beginning and then try to get this interpreter, uh, the 3.6 for Python running, see what happened. I go from there. Um, now, the other big thing that you should be aware of if you're really, really new to it, um, the point you may want to start at is virtualize, virtualization and there's a virtual box which is a, uh, a software that I've worked with for quite a while uh, that uh, enables you to use uh, virtualization just for testing and whatnot I wouldn't really use it for production but just to play around with in your environments uh, be it in Linux or Windows or whatever um, it's there. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, um, I do have quite a few videos on that, as well as Python. I'll just show you where to go if you are interested in this stuff. Uh, just go to my playlist let you, here. Let me show you some algo financial market. And what you'll find here is, let me just see if I can find, uh, um, Python is the big one, obviously. So if there's a video here uh, called Python Attack, or we'll call it, uh, 114 videos can be a lot more added um, probably has the highest number of videos in any playlist I have um, yeah, looking at it, it does the other thing is um, you may want to really uh, ensure is understanding your Linux distribution choice so I have lots of videos on Linux uh, mostly on Ubuntu but uh, as far as I know, uh, what I'm 
planning to do is Debian and uh, Ubuntu should be the same as I b rebuild the new uh, Linux environment with the virtualization using hopefully just only Debian. Now I say hopefully um, just due to the compatibility problems they may uh, come across in let's say in Python that may not run properly but um, may work properly under uh, under uh, Ubuntu. There just seems to be no real 100% compatibility among all these different uh, distributions. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, if you're starting out go with VirtualBox, obviously set up your virtualization environment. Um, you know, you've got all these different distributions for Linux to choose from. I'd probably go with Debian uh, for now. If it doesn't work out, I'll just go back to the old standby, which is uh, Ubuntu. And uh, go from there and uh, hope for the best. And uh, again, um, what it really depends on is this compatibility of Python packages and Python 3.6. So I just want to let you know, and uh, hopefully you can take away some knowledge from it. And as well, uh, the, the next big set of steps is to get my old uh, scripts running from my course, uh, which I can show you here. If you go into products here, find is the product page this course here uh, algo training components of Python that's in 2.7 uh, so I want to upgrade those same scripts and put them and get them into 3.6 and then I can use those as a base uh, moving forward among probably dozens upon dozens of other scripts as well okay just wanted to let you know and uh, have a good one see you